Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a flip through of this journal. This was my movie journal that I was doing on my TikToks and if you came from my TikTok then you've seen this. Um, she is not finished as you can see and she has a lot of blank pages. I just lost so much motivation in this journal for some reason. I have now came back to movie journaling, but I am using this Archer and Olive instead of this one. But I don't know. I will probably come back to this at some point in time maybe and like make sure I'm not wasting all of these pages or anything like that. But as for now, I'm done with her and I know a lot of people wanted to flip through so I'm just going to do a flip through even though it's not 100% finished and the lighting is a little bit wonky so my hands look weird I apologize like the color I don't know let's not focus on that and my nails are kind of gross sorry and the plane is just flying <laughs> over the house so many things happening at once but let's get started with the flip through so this journal is an archer and olive journal it is the neapolitan version so it has white paper craft paper and black paper i love it it's so cool and then i added these stickers i added get out which is my favorite movie a Nora sticker from Scam and a Stidia sticker from Teen Wolf. I also have a link in my description for Archer and Olive and you can use my code if you want. So opening up, I have two like separate papers that I did little collages on. One for Enola Holmes because I don't know, I just wanted to do a collage for it instead of writing. So there's that. And then I did one for good old Sirius Black from Harry Potter. Love. And then I have a few more stickers inside. I have a Marvel I Love You 3000 and a Steve Harrington because we stan. Um, they just said that season four is not coming out till 2022. Am I upset? Yeah. And then I have this sticker that says I speak fluent movie quotes, which is honestly very true. And then I think I wanted to put like my favorite movies and shows on here. I just did not do that. <laughs> And then the first pages are dedicated to the director that I love the most, Jordan Peele, Get Out, my favorite movie. I have seen this countless times. It's just mind-blowingly good. And this was actually my first film journal page I ever did. It's probably one of my favorites. I just love it so much. And I was doing cast some thoughts that were mostly just gibberish in a rating. And you'll notice once I get a little bit more into this journal that I stopped doing the ratings because I wasn't really putting movies I didn't like in here. So it was kind of pointless and relentless. But, you know, anyways, just probably my favorite spread too like them next to each other is one of my favorite things ever a little close up of this one just because I love it so much wow yes and then we have scream and cruel intentions this page somehow some way basically got me my following on tiktok because it hit like 1.4 million views and i genuinely don't know how because i think it's so ugly looking at it right now but you know a classic film nonetheless and then cruel intentions one of my favorite movies i will probably cry all the time 
and Joshua Jackson with a heart says it all. Then we have One Tree Hill. Oh, Nathan's face. One of my favorite shows to ever exist. I've seen it countless times. I drew one of Peyton's drawings, one of her infamous drawings. You know, I just love this show. I even went and stayed in Wilmington, North Carolina, where they filmed One Tree Hill. And now I know that they filmed Dawson's Creek there. And I binged that show in quarantine. And now I want to go back and see all the Dawson's Creek locations. But yeah, this one's okay. Nothing too special. Mixed feelings. Okay, then we have Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I hate this page. <laughs> so ugly, but I like the Turkish Delight. Narnia is one of my biggest comfort movies ever, especially the second one. This page is ugly. I plan on redoing the Narnia movies in my new journal, so look out for those on my TikTok. And we have The Sandlot, one of my favorite movies ever. I can quote mostly this entire movie, um, and not the best collage ever. Also want to redo this. But I like my idea of um, writing Babe Ruth's signature. Then we have Skins. Ah, such a good show. Very different than any show I've ever really watched. I don't like how this turned out. This was like one of my first TV show ones. I went back and did One Tree Hill after this. Um, so I don't really like the layout of this one too much. But... You know, all the ones I don't like, I want to redo so badly. This being one of them. Especially if I love the show or movie so much and the page came out ugly. It's like what I imagine heartbreak to feel like. Icon. Um, if you were Team Cook or Freddy, let me know in the comments. I think me being Team Cook was my realization that I liked toxic people okay <laughs> i love this page this is my it page it is also one of my favorite movies of all time i always say my top three is like get out it 2017 version and jurassic park i absolutely love this so so much let me show you a little close-up Richie, my favorite. Fun fact, I went to the It Chapter 2 premiere in LA and it was one of the best things to ever happen to me. I got to see my favorite people in person. Scam. Uh, what a good show. Also one of my favorite shows to ever grace this earth it's a norwegian show and i've seen it so many times and i've seen mostly all of the remakes um you know it's a good show when there's remakes in like eight different countries but yeah i just love my favorites this was taped in there but i guess um it came out yeah not much to say but queen then we have The Goonies and Nightmare on Elm Street. This movie, uh, Chef's Kiss. I used to watch it all the time and then I recently watched it in quarantine again and I just realized why it was one of my faves. Also, one of my favorite horror movies is Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. One of my favorite horror movie villains as well. Freddy and Ghostface are my top, 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 along with Pennywise, too. I really like this page. I'm, like, staring at it, and I am a big fan. Ugh, yes. This is probably one of my favorite pages, along with us, in this book. I just did a little collage moment with Will Poulter. Yes. I just loved how this one turned out. 
I don't know if that's just me, but I like that I added um, this like cloud paper in the background that I found and I did more of a collage um, and I liked that I put a part of the script that goes with this scene. I don't know. I just am a big fan of this page for some reason. And we have Maze Runner. One of the best trilogies, let's be real. <laughs> so, so good. Ah, oh, man. The Mighty Ducks. I watched The Mighty Ducks for the first time in quarantine, actually. And now the second Mighty Ducks movie is my one of my biggest comfort movies next to Narnia Prince Caspian but yes I like this page not so much a big fan of this page um yeah just my boys my boys Joshua Jackson then we have the last Mighty Ducks movie this page is kind of plain Oh well. Then we have Narnia, Prince Caspian. Again, this page is kind of plain, but I really like it. Edmund Pevensey, one of my comfort characters. Just, yes. The Karate Kid and The Scorch Trials, which is the second Maze Runner movie. Pretty self-explanatory. These pages are all right. And then we have After, which, you know, I love a good bad movie. I'm going to be honest. And this is one of my favorite good bad movies. This page also kind of popped off on my TikTok unexpectedly. And I think my caption, if I'm not mistaken, was I love a good bad movie. And, like, all of the After fans, like, came at me in the comments, which I wasn't hating on the movie. Guys, I read the fanfiction when I was in high school. As it was coming out, it's okay. And then I printed out pictures to do the second movie, and, you know, I guess I just did not do that. Then we start my Harry Potters. I love how these turned out some of my favorites obviously i don't stand jk rowling at all awful person but harry potter means so 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 much to me and i just love it with my whole heart then i think this is my favorite harry potter page i did because ramus lupin is my favorite character next to fred weasley and it's just good stuff Then I did this page after Chadwick Boseman passed away. I just wanted to, you know, do a little remembrance for him, so I did Black Panther. And I really like how this page turned out. The white pen is kind of, you know, smearing together, which is awful, but, you know, it's whatever. Then we have Outer Banks. Kind of want to redo this page in my new one. I am currently working on Outer Banks stickers as well since the second season just came out um, and they're coming in the mail in the next few days so I'm waiting to do a journal with me for those. I haven't decided if I wanted to do them like as a YouTube video as well. I'd have to figure it out but you know I'm obsessed with this show. It's not the best show to ever be written, no, but the cast and just it's just amazing then we have trick or treat oh, such an underrated horror movie i feel like sam is such a cute villain i just love him enough said <laughs> then we have the vampire diaries mainly you know klaus michelson it's all you really need to know. Let me know if you were Team Damon or Team Stefan. I feel like when I was younger, I was Team Damon, like when the show was coming out. And then rewatching it, I'm Team Stefan for sure. 
Then we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. My boys, my boys. And then we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. I don't, I think I wanted Part 2 to be on a white page and not a black page. And I just never went back to put something on this page. <gasps> Teen Wolf. Uh, also, one of my favorite shows to ever exist. I've seen this show so many times. I can quote this show like it's my job. This is for seasons one through three. I never went back and did four through six. But I really, really like this spread. And this little page turner. As you can see, I love me some Style Stolinski and Isaac Leahy. Who doesn't? And we have the classic Hocus Pocus. So good. Watch this on repeat during Halloween time. Then I was like, let me do the Marvel movies. Which I only did a few in this and I need to finish in my new journal. But we have Captain America the First Avenger. I did a little watercolor for his shield. We have James Buchanan Barnes. I really do like this one. Then we got good old Twilight. I also really love this spread. I like the little mint blue color scheme I went with. Obviously because Twilight has that blue tint that we all know and love. And I even tried to do like the lettering, like the title. It was it was real difficult too. Ah, Stranger Things. This spread is so ugly. Oh my God. I need to redo these like yesterday. But I did it for season one, season two. Um, I think this goes up. I have a huge crush on these two boys and Jonathan. Not on his character, but like the actor. His character sucks. <laughs> and then we have season three, and this flips two. Petition for Steve not to get beat up to a pulp in season four. Probably will happen. Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. I love the purple that I did for some reason. I don't know why I did all purple. But I do like my boy Edmund. Anne of... I was going to say Anne of Green Gables. Anne with an E. If you have not seen this show, this is your sign. Stop watching my video and just go watch this on Netflix, please. We have little flippies because there are just so many pictures that I wanted to use. So many good quotes in the show. The show talks about racism, feminism, sexual assault, so many things. Like the list is endless to be honest. It's just so good for something that's like probably a teen show. And it's set, it's a period show, so it's set in, you know, the early times. It's just, I love it. I just rewatched it too for some reason. Julie and the Phantoms, Netflix. When are you announcing season two? I'm kind of heartbroken at this point. I didn't intend to fall in love with the kids' TV show about three ghost boys. But here we are. This show has my whole heart and I miss it. The Death Cure. Um, I hate this page. I'm just going to say it. I hate it. But, you know, what can you do? I love them, though. Love them. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm not going to attempt to say the name. But money heist <laughs> i'm going to say the white version um i was a uh, 
I don't even know what to call them. I was dressed like this for Halloween last year, me and my best friend. It was still quarantine, so we made sure that it was just us and we just, you know, made a knockoff version of this because we weren't going to spend that much money for a costume when we only dressed up for pictures and to watch movies in our room. But, you know, I had, so I had a fake $100 bill for, like, one of the props for our costume and so I used it for this and I the show is so mind-blowingly good and I can't wait for September 3rd when part of the next final season comes out so so good shameless I been shameless when there was only like six seasons or something I stopped watching at some point but it was so good I loved it when I binged it. Mickey Milkovich is one of the best characters on the show. And him and Ian were too pure for this world. I love them. I don't... <laughs> I don't know why I didn't write the cast for this. Awkward. But Haunting of Hill House. Also a mind-blowingly good show. So mind-blowing. So good. I love it. I can't wait to rewatch it during Halloween time and to rewatch Bly Manor. Ah, I love this show with my whole heart. And then Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. The conclusion. Wow. I just love Harry Potter. Little Women, a comfort movie for me. Like I said a few comfort movies already but amy march i'm pretty sure is one of my soul characters like we are one in the same and florence Pugh killed amy march like wow anyways what an a plus movie this page eh the devil all the time there's a lot of trigger warnings for this movie so check those out before you watch i am one of tom holland's biggest fans and i watched it the day that it came out and it also stars sebastian stan and robert pattinson and bill skarsgård so like what more could you want a plus casting too just wow okay i love this page <laughs> This was for Iron Man, and I did like a little collage at the bottom. So this was the suit that he made in captivity, and then this was what he made when he got back home. The iconic, you know, scene. Oh, I just love. And then here's Iron Man 2. I did another little collage, and I really like how this one came out too. I like this one more. But I also made sure to include little Peter Parker. I am also um, deeply obsessed with Marvel. It's it's sad. Scream. Such an underrated TV show. And I mean underrated. Like, it should have got renewed with the same cast for season three. Um... But it got renewed for season 3 with a whole different cast, and I'm still bitter about it. But seasons 1 and 2 of Scream, the show, are chef's kiss amazing. The cast is so, so good. And it's so funny, too. It's base It's everything you want from a Scream TV show. And Scream being one of my favorite horror movies, slasher movies, whatever, I had such low expectations for this that I was mind blown and then I did the first time which is Dylan O'Brien's rom-com movie there's not anything else I need to say other than it stars Dylan O'Brien and he's the cutest thing ever and then my two Christmas movies my favorite Christmas movie ever I'll Be Home for Christmas with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I watch it every December 1st. I love this movie. Apparently, I didn't write my thoughts, but this is for Home Alone. A classic. 
elite. Ugh. And there are so many people from elite that went into money heist, or I don't know which one came out first, but it's just so good. It's like, it's a Spanish show, and I described it as how to get away with murder, but in a rich private high school that's basically the premise and this is my favorite ship until the day i die and i still cry about them you should watch this <laughs> oh and we have a little flippy and i don't know why that's blank then i have thor simple but effective then we have Bridgerton. I binged it when it came out and I absolutely loved it. Except I just want to say a huge trigger warning for sexual assault in this show. If you haven't seen it, just putting that out there. That is the only part that just was unnecessary, I feel like. And I know that scene was in the books, but I just didn't feel the need why we needed it in this show but you know what can you do i think this page is so pretty to me the hunger games i got these pens they're these pens uniball signo and they're just so perfect for the black pages but, and then I watercolored, like, the, you know, Mockingjay symbol. The classic dystopian. <gasps> Jurassic Park. One of my favorite movies. Top three, like I said. And I just really like how this turned out. I added little dinosaur stickers. My favorite quotes. Which I don't really put for the movies. But I think I did it for it in this one because there are just so many good ones. Yeah. <gasps> Me gasping every time I see one of my favorite shows or movies. But Dawson's Creek. I actually don't like how this page turned out. But this show is everything to me. I watched it more like I binged it during quarantine. And Pacey Witter became one of my favorite characters to exist on this planet. I put a little love of my life sticker. He is just the dreamiest boy I've ever seen. He's basically Style Stalinsky before Style Stalinsky existed. But yeah, I really need to redo Dawson's Creek in my new one. Because this just ain't it. But he is it. Then we have the Avengers. Which I don't know. This might have been my last Marvel movie I did. But I don't know. But we have the Avengers. This page is kind of cool. I tried to do one of those. Um, flippy book things. Here's my like flippy book. And it, like, shows all of the OG6 Avengers. And, yeah. That's basically it. Gossip Girl, classic show. I tried to do, like, it being a browser since that's what Gossip Girl was. A website. Um, unsure. I included Sebastian Stan, even though he is such a side character, but how could I not? Then we have a page for Moxie. I don't know what's happening here. Moxie is a movie that came out on Netflix, and it's a book-to-movie adaptation. I didn't read the book, but I watched the movie, and I really did enjoy it. There were some things that I had some complaints about that I write in my thoughts, how I wish the main character wasn't white and basically, you know, all of that. But then again, I kind of get why the main character was white because she didn't understand some of the feminism stuff that was happening. But still, 
I would have just preferred uh, if she was the main character. Yeah. And it also has Nico. Let me show you. Mm, squeals. Dead Poet Society. Fun fact, I want Carpe Diem. Seize the day tattooed on my body from this movie please just watch this movie and it's fall soon and this is the perfect fall movie obsessed obsessed with everything about this movie well not everything but if you've seen the movie you know what i mean queen's gambit one of my favorite shows to come out of last year Starring Anya Taylor-Joy and Thomas Brody Sangster. Just the perfect duo. I love this show. I didn't have any expectations. I really only watched it because Thomas Brody Sangster was in it. And then I stayed for Anya Taylor-Joy. And I just didn't expect to love a show about chess so, so much. Oh, a blank page. Ooh, see, okay, story time. <laughs> this is kind of a WandaVision page, but then I ended up hating everything about it. So I tried to, you know, make it better over here. And I still, fun fact, hate everything about it. But I love these stickers that I bought on Etsy. They're WandaVision. Um... Yeah, Wanda Maximoff is one of my favorite characters in MCU and just one of my favorite characters, period. She deserves the world. And she definitely doesn't deserve this ugly of a journal page. And I think that's my last page I did. Yeah, all of these are, yikes, empty. Um, yeah, I probably should eventually come back and do something with these pages, but as of right now, this book is done. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. This is kind of just me rambling and telling you to watch these shows and movies. <laughs> but yeah, I will hopefully be doing some movie TV journaling with me in this new book. I just started it. I've only done the Fear Street movies that just came out on Netflix. Here's part two and part three. So yeah, I'm excited. Got a lot of journaling to do. I plan on doing a flip through of my life journal soon because it's pretty much almost done. And I will be doing some favorites and you know, I'm trying to get it back in the swing of things. I also just opened up my Etsy store, so hopefully I'll be doing some studio vlogs. I'm kind of in the middle of filming a studio vlog. We'll see if I like them enough to post. But yeah, thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!